actually in preparation for the Hamilton County Teachers Conference, Teachers Day event, rather. Hamilton County Teachers Day event and conference that she's going to be at. And this, so this character is a warm up for the teachers of Hamilton County, of which she happens to be one. Uh, <laughs> so it is with great pleasure that I bring her to the stage. Someone being portrayed by the one and only Bonnie Stoloff. That's why I call him Professor. Just ask him, he you knows everything. And um, I was just um, wanting to introduce myself. I am uh, Leela Agnes Scatterbottom. Glad to meet you today. Um, I am, uh, I've been retired uh, for, for um, several years now, I think. Um, I taught 50 years and I retired in 1970. I taught all grade levels <laughs> and uh, mostly high school. Uh, back in 1970, the children wore bell bottoms to school. And uh, I, it reminds me, I, I taught many ding-a-lings. It reminds me of that. Um, smart children, too, but many, many uh, ding-a-lings. <laughs> I remember this one child. We, we were studying the octopus. and. And Lord help me if, if she didn't say testicles instead of tentacles. <laughs> oh, it was just terrible. Miss Scatterbottom, did you know there are over 125 tes testicles on the arms of an octopus? Well, thank goodness the bell was about to ring. I wrote tentacles in very big letters on the board, I must tell you. <laughs> but, um, uh, it made for some lively conversation in the teacher's lounge, I will tell you that. <laughs> the English teachers always love a good malapropism. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, anyway, um, we cannot label these days, you can't label children ding a or stupid any longer. Why, why, you can't even call them smart. You have to call them gifted. <laughs> These little children all run around, I'm gifted, I'm gifted, I'm gifted. Well, I would like to call them gifted mouths, because you can't say smart mouth. You know, so <laughs> it's also your gifted Alec and your little gifted ass. <laughs> and what? What about this common core? Oh, we knew what common core was back in the day. Why, why the common core belonged to the PE teachers and and the coaches, because that all that had to do with was, was how many sit-ups you could do with the common core, and uh, it fit right in with the presidential fitness program. <sighs> I think all the exercise the children do nowadays is just sitting and watching the YouTube. <laughs> well, back in the day, I, I taught um, Canterbury Tales to high school, and in the common core, they have to teach it to third grade as part of their literature component. Poor little stressed out things. <laughs> but I could understand Beowulf. That works for third grade, particularly if it's a graphic novel. <laughs> um, that appeals to a visual learner. And of course, we don't have to c cater. Uh, back in the day, we did not have to cater to the various types of learners very much. I mean, there was your visual learner, your auditory learner, and your kinesthetic learner. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? You know, if, are they serving wine here or, or iced tea? Because I'm much funnier if you're drinking. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, we did not have to modify instruction. We just 
uh, put the children who wore glasses on the front row. Yeah, we should have visual learners. <laughs> <laughs> and these um, auditory learners, we just spoke loudly. <laughs> and that worked. But the hyperkinesthetic boys, we, um, we take them with duct tape to their desks. <laughs> and that, um, uh, that was acceptable, then we all did it. <laughs> and, um, well, I do remember this one boy, very hyper boy, his name was Mike uh, Milligan, um, I can't remember his last name, but he had to be duct taped to his chair at the beginning of the day. <laughs> he really had to watch out during the uh, cafeteria line because if he forgot his fork, he always forgot his fork, he would turn suddenly and wipe out half the line and <laughs> oh, we would have to send several children to the nurse one year. We had to send a girl to get stitches from the nurse. She's a very, very skilled stitch to write up. She could also disseminate aspirin and birth control. And, <laughs> <laughs> and once she even performed a lobotomy. <laughs> but not without the principal's write off on that. <laughs> because he wore glasses and, well, you can have more than one thing wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> so by the time the period was about half over, he had scooted over to the window where he would sit, daydream, and occasionally blurt out an answer, but bless his heart, he, he couldn't raise his hand because his arm was taped to his desk. <laughs> Thank you and have a lovely meal. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.